incredibly wobbly setup. This is a um, piece of ash which is about six or seven years old, so it's pretty hard. And the stock knife doesn't have a handle at the moment. Still works though. Pile of wood on my anvil. A couple of quick grips. Unfortunately, the wood I'm cutting down onto is um, pine, so it's super soft. I'm getting a very glassy finish on it, which is quite pleasant. Control may be improved when there's actually a handle on the other end. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so I made a video earlier on um, illustrating some cuts on this uh, gnarly, incredibly hard uh, ripple ash. And um, I failed to mention the point that these tools, stock knives and peg knives, were by and large intended for um, greenwood. So clog soles are carved from green sycamore or alder, I believe. Um, and obviously pegs and all that sort of thing, would be soft. So it's not necessarily um, fair to regard them as dry woodworking tools. Uh, last makers for making shoe lasts, they work in seasoned beech. Um, very few people use a tool like this for that these days, but that's mainly an availability issue. Um, but yeah, so these things were by and large used on greenwood, which is obviously a lot softer than seasoned material but we're still cutting perfectly fine main issue here is that my surface i'm cutting down onto is much softer than the wood i'm cutting so it's actually just getting pressed into it but this setup on the anvil at the moment is extremely temporary and uh not all that good to be fair but we're still cutting um yeah so i've got a hazel stick here which again is extremely old and dry but it is softer than the ash, so it's uh, a bit more reflective of what this material, um, what this tool can do through fresher material, which is basically just go straight through it. I currently don't have a handle fitted because the customer is going to fit their own, so I've got very little control um, on the pitch. So we're just sort of following where the blade wants to go, which is obviously de determined by the uh, bevel, but. It just absolutely eats it, which is quite fun. Let's see if I can get a, uh, a more vertical cut. So straight through the end grain, vertically. And if we pitch up and cut more with the grain, take rather a lot off in a single go. Well, 
Yeah. There you go. Ready for vampires.